Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech. Today we're gonna connect a hard drive to our Note 7. Now I've seen other people do this and they haven't done it right because if you connect a hard drive to your Note 7 that hasn't been formatted by your Note 7, then your Note is confused and it wants to format it. Well, once it formats it, then you go to try and plug it into your Mac or your PC and it won't read the drive. So what good is a drive that you could plug into your Note 7, but you can't plug into any other computer? In my opinion, you would wanna be able to load up a drive with a whole bunch of cool stuff and then you know on your computer and then be able to connect it to the Note 7. So I figured out how to do that and it all has to do with how you format your drive. So before starting, let me show you what happens here. You take your OTB connector that, um, that comes with your Note 7 and you plug in a drive. I have the Samsung T3 one terabyte solid state here. This was not formatted by the Note and not formatted appropriately for the Note. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. So we'll slide that right into the device and it's going to power the device and it's gonna say unsupported USB drive. Now what it's gonna to wanna to do is format that and I don't wanna do that because this drive has stuff on it that I want that I don't wanna get rid of. So I'm gonna hit the back button. I'm gonna come down here and just, well, I'll just unplug the drive and get it out of there. So we're not gonna mess with this drive because I didn't format this one correctly and it has stuff on it that I don't wanna get rid of yet. However, both of these drives have been formatted correctly. I plugged them into my Mac and I reformatted the drives in XFAT, but simply formatting them in XFAT is not gonna do it. You actually have to change from the, the I believe it's the partition type, um, you have to change that to a master boot record. And I figured that out just by trial and error. So now we can take our drive. So let's start out with this Lacey. This is a Lacey one terabyte solid state drive. So one terabytes of storage. And uh, we're gonna plug that in through USB 3. So USB 3 right into my Note 7. And when I come down here, let me get rid of the uh, incorrect notifications. Sometimes I've had to do this twice. It was still showing uh, unsupported drive from the last, oh, here it is. Lacey USB drive, tap here to transfer media files. So I'll go ahead and hit open. And this is a file that I copied over from my Mac. It's just a, a video that we created. So this is, this is pulling it straight from the drive. You could see, I don't know if you could see the light flashing on the drive here. So I don't know if you could see the light flashing on the drive, like letting you know that it's actually reading it from the drive. Um, so it's it's literally streaming a video from the drive. So yes, I know you can put an SD card up to 256 gigabytes in your phone, but if you have more stuff, maybe you wanna load up a one terabyte drive with a whole bunch of videos and movies and stuff like that, uh, you can you can do that. You could plug it in. You just have to format the drive correctly. So this is a Lacey one terabyte. So we we tried that. Um, this drive over here is a bit older. It's a WD Passport um, one terabyte, but it has a spinner drive in it. So a drive that requires a little bit more power than you know what you might expect from a, a phone to be able to power. So let's go ahead and. Uh, and try plugging in this drive. This drive is old. It's uh, It took quite a while to actually format it. It's probably not the best drive to run this test on, but it's pretty cool that our phone could actually power a drive like this. So it's gonna take a minute for this to actually spin up and connect because it's an old spinner drive. This drive here is probably, I don't know, three or four, maybe five years old. I've had it for a long time. Um, and had to actually go digging for it to find it. So eventually here, this may connect. Let's wait a moment and see if it's gonna happen. All right, so it did connect. Let's tap on open, and it's actually going to open the drive. Tap open again, there it is. All right, so now we're looking at the actual drive, what's on the drive. Um, Android, when the, when the note connects to it, it, it goes ahead and throws a couple of files on there. Um, and uh, you can see that it's showing up here in my USB storage. If I go and click on storage usage, it will show USB storage, 
uh, 0.91 terabytes. So, you know, it's almost a terabyte drive. Um, but it doesn't show your usage like an internal SD card or other drive does. So that's that's the, the slight difference is that you actually have to um, look in a different place to figure out how much storage you have left. So just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and do that with the, the Lacey here. The Lacey obviously connects quite faster to um, the phone because it is a solid state drive. It doesn't take as much time to power up. So let's just uh, wait for a second here, wait for it to connect. There it goes. You can see it's now connected here in My Files. This is the My Files application on, on the Note 7. We'll go to Storage Usage. You can see USB storage here, 0.91 terabytes. So tons of space that you can add to your phone. You just have to connect it this way. The only downfall is that you cannot charge your phone while this is happening. So obviously your phone is powering the drive and that's draining battery as well. So this wouldn't necessarily be a solution if you wanted to have all of your video, all of your movies and all that stuff available. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily be able to do that. But here's one cool thing you can do. We have this video right here. I can tap and hold on that and I can actually move this or copy it to another place on my phone. So let's go to my SD card that is inside my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just copy it to the main screen or the main SD card there. So now I'm actually transferring files from an external drive, an external hard drive that has a terabyte of space, transferring it to my phone. So this is where I would see it as useful. Like I could temporarily transfer stuff over to my phone without using a computer, without having to take the SD card out of my phone. And then when I'm done, I can clear up a little bit of space. I can continue to keep this as like my main drive and just move stuff over to my phone when I actually need it. This is the super cool solution, I think. Uh, and this drive, I can connect to a Mac or a PC, put files on it, and it's fine. And then I could plug it into my Note 7, transfer, access, watch, use files directly off of the drive. Uh, while it's plugged in, totally cool. So I'm putting links in the description to some of these drives. Um, this T3, the Samsung T3, we did a review of this. We'll put a link in the description below to that. This drive is fantastic and would probably be the best match for this, not simply because they're both Samsung, but because it's small and it packs a lot of hard drive space. Um, I just didn't wanna format it because it's got stuff on it that I need, which is why I'm using this Lacey. This Lacey I'm not really using for anymore, which is why we're playing with it in this video. So anyways, definitely cool, something to try out. If you have your, your um, connector that came with your phone uh, and you try plugging it into a hard drive, don't format it in the phone. Go to your Mac or your PC and format it XFAT and a master boot record instead of the GUID, I believe it's called. I'm putting that up on the screen so that you can see it. Um, format it the correct way and your hard drive will work on both your your laptop or your desktop and your phone and you can share files among and have tons of storage which is great thanks for checking out this video on state of tech hope you liked it if you did subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this we're releasing videos monday through friday for you on a variety of technology that we think you'll like so make sure to stick around and we'll see you next time here on state of tech